Ah, finally, I am destroying bosses with a strength and faith build using lightning and a great axe. I mean, it makes it really hard capturing footage when the bosses are going down so fast even in New Game Plus. We're talking lightning, the executioner's axe, high damage, high stance damage, boosted critical hits, by far my new favorite Ash of War, Lion's Claw, and all at the meta level of 150. This build is so simple to use and is really tanky and really heavy hitting. I am loving it. My fellow tarnished, I give you the Storm Cleaver. Okay, let's start with the gear and setup so we can wreck anything and everything. If you could leave me a like and subscribe, that would be awesome. Thanks. Right, our weapon of choice is the Executioner's Axe plus 25 with the Heavy Affinity. In the offhand, we have a God Slayer Seal plus 25 for our buffs. The Ash of War on the Executioner's Axe is Lion's Claw, and it is really amazing. Not only is it a really cool animation, but this attack hits really hard and does 30 stance damage, which is devastating. But what I really love about this Ash of War is the hyper armor it gives you. When you hit L2 to use this Ash of War, you are going to ignore every attack from a boss and land a devastating blow to them uninterrupted. So, with enough health and defense, we can easily trade with bosses, even on New Game Plus. Which brings us on to the gear and talismans. We have the Halig Tree Knight's Helm giving us plus two faith. We have the Langdell Knight's Armor, the Royal Remains Gloves for a little healing at 18% and below, and the Langdell Knight's Greaves. It's mainly a Fashion Souls loadout and why not? As for our talismans then, we have the Shard of Alexander boosting our Lion's Claw Ash of War, the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman boosting our physical defense, and you could swap this out for a different defensive talisman depending on what you're fighting and what damage you are taking. The Dagger Talisman boosting our critical hits, and this is working with the Executioner's Axe, which already has increased critical damage. And then finally we have a Utility Placeholder, the Urtreed's Favor plus two. In the Flask of Wondrous Physic, we have the Lightning Shrouding Cracked Tear, boosting our lightning attacks, and we have the Stone Barb Cracked Tear, which makes our attacks more likely to break enemy stance. And that's the major focus of this build, breaking bosses. The Executioner's Axe has increased critical damage, further boosted by the Dagger Talisman. The Lion's Claw does 30 stance damage to enemies, and the Stone Barb tier is also boosting our stance damage for 30 seconds. So we break enemies faster, and then we finish them with boosted criticals. <laughs> and honestly guys, if you are using this build in a first playthrough, and for a lot of New Game Plus in fact, you may find you are killing bosses before you even get a chance to perform a critical hit on them. I was actually slowing down my attacks to get footage for this video. As for incantations, we have Electrify Armament, being boosted by our Faith Stat and the Lightning Shrouded Crack Tear, Golden Vow, and Flame Grant Me Strength. Okay, let's have a look at the stats. I started with the Hero class. We have Vigor at 55, Mind at 20, Endurance at 25, Strength at 54. This actually gives us 81 strength from the bonus of two-handing the axe. Dexterity we don't touch, Intelligence we don't touch, Faith is at 48, but the Heligatry Night Helm is boosting this up to 50, and that 50 Faith boosting our electrified attacks, and Arcane we don't touch. Alrighty, let's talk about combat. So, Lion's Claw has carried me through the game and New Game Plus. Like I say, you can trade quite comfortably with bosses by spamming Lion's Claw and breaking their stance for your boosted critical hits. But you can also land some very nice heavy charged attacks for even more stance damage as well. And to be honest, I really don't use much else. Like I said before, you may find yourself defeating bosses too quickly to actually get a critical hit on them. So, you can always try the Axe Talisman or Claw Talisman if you want to bring in charge attacks and jump attacks, and you could also look at damage negation tiers in the Flask instead of the Stone Barb tier to trade even more safely with Lion's Claw. I should just say, when it comes to Lion's Claw being uninterrupted, I did notice that grab attacks still get you. We aren't immune to those with the Lion's Claw animation, but they are few and far between, so 
don't worry about it. Right, I think it's time to have some fun wrecking bosses with our Storm Cleaver build. But before I do, I just want to thank Fess, Ewan and Bill for their input on the build and remind you that we often create these builds on my live streams. So come and join us on Wednesdays and Sundays and you can join and follow me on Discord, Twitch and TikTok. Links in the description. <laughs> okay, let's destroy some bosses. So there you have it guys, the Storm Cleaver. Let me know what you think of this build and how would you tweak it? What builds would you like me to cover? All the best you lovely tarnished and I will see you in the next one. Cheers!